listen when Jesus speaks? Because in John 10, Jesus says that his sheep follow him for they know his voice. So is that true for you? Do you listen when Jesus speaks? Do you know the voice of Jesus? Now, in our sinfulness, we don't instinctively recognize the shepherd's voice. Instead, we ignore the voice of Christ and we disobey him. What voices do we listen to instead? Well, the primary voice that we listen to is our own. Our own self-absorbed, egocentric, prideful voice, which is wrapped up only in the care and concern of ourselves. The other voice is that of the sinful world around us. And this may come in the form of our friends because peer pressure is, is real, am I right? Or from those many influences outside of our personal relationships, those prominent voices that we hear on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube. Those voices of the sinful world oftentimes beckon us to indulge in the sinfulness of our flesh, to do what is right in our own eyes, to be a law unto ourselves and to justify our own behavior, no matter how wretched it is. The other voice is that of the devil who prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. He caters to our sinful nature and he will go to great lengths to keep us from hearing the voice of our Savior and from receiving the peace and life that he, our Savior, has come to give. I mean, these are some pretty powerful forces that we are working against in this life. What can we ever do to overcome these very real threats and temptations that we face? How can we ever be expected to hear the voice of the shepherd amongst all this noise? How can we ever follow him? Well, in 1 Peter chapter 2, God proclaims that Christ, our shepherd, bore our sin in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. For you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. So the question is not, what can we do? Instead, the question is, what has Christ done? And not only that, but what does Christ continue to do for you? The Good Shepherd's voice is not one of commands and demands trying to cut through the noise of sin that expects us to overcome these things for ourselves, as if to say, do this and live, because the voice of the shepherd has already called you. He's called you by name through the waters of holy baptism. You have already been rescued from the thief who comes only to steal and kill and destroy. You have already received the gift of abundant life in Christ. There's no question about your status. You were straying like sheep, but not anymore. Because of Christ, you are holy, you are clean. You are acceptable to God in every way because he has cleansed you. And the Holy Spirit has been given to you. And this Holy Spirit gives you faith. He sustains your faith. He strengthens your faith. Through faith, the Holy Spirit gives you the ability to hear the voice of the shepherd calling to you. He gives you the ability to follow him. He gives you the assurance of this abundant life everlasting that he has won for you. That is what you have been made in Christ Jesus. You have been made his child. You have been made a shepherd. You have been made a sheep who hears the voice of the shepherd. This is what you are, not because of what you have done, but because of what Christ has done for you and continues to do for you.